So today we're here with Jim and Mike. We're going to be talking about the 1970 Chevelle Super Sport that we're working on. And we're going to have Jim talk first about where the car has started and where it's come from and all the things that he did before he got it to Mike. And uh, we're going to view the car and let you get a real good glimpse of where it's at in the stage of the process. Today is November 15th, 2011. And uh, we're expecting to have it uh, ready for uh, the spring shows in 2012. So, Jim, you want to let us know where uh, where you got the car and uh, what you've done to it for Aaron and and where where it's at today? Well, we were at a Super Chevy Indy back in uh, 2009, and the last year of the show, and the car come rolling in about 11 o'clock in the morning and. I had no intention on buying the car, uh, but uh, my curiosity got the better of me, so I went and looked at the car real quick, and I noticed that it had a high horsepower tachometer in it, and the car appeared to be untouched as far as anything uh, faked on it or anything like that, but the car was somewhat apart. Then I started looking at the car a little bit harder and seeing that it had appeared to have all of its original body panels and um, no visible heavy rust anywhere. So I asked the guy the price, and uh, he told me, and walked around a little bit more, a little bit more, and made the guy an offer, and we countered back and forth, and in about half an hour we had the car bought, brought it home with the intent of building it sometime down the road, had it in my lower shed, and this young man came over to my house looking for a Chevelle, he'd bought a Chevelle off the internet somewhere else, and I wasn't happy with it. I referred him to two or three other cars. He went and looked at them. Just wasn't what he wanted. He, he made up his mind that he thought he wanted this Chevelle that's in my barn. And uh, after twisting my arm behind my head, he ended up buying it. And that'd be me. <laughs> so, so then not only did he uh, buy the car, but he also wanted us to do a frame-off restoration and recommend a place to get it painted. And that's where Mike Pro comes in. I think he's one of the best around that I know of. So we started taking the car immediately apart and uh, took, took it loose from the frame and continued sandblasting, disassembled the whole car and started back from scratch. And even though there was a little bit of damage, we did notice on disassembly, it has all been taken care of with uh, the finest quality parts that we could find. Jim, you've worked on a lot of cars. Uh, where's this one right in your mind? Well, this will be one of the better ones, too. There's, they're all nice when they get done. We sold two or three cars to some high-end dealers at um, the auctions at Meekum. And uh, one car has gone down to Corvettes and Collectibles in Florida. And this car will be just as nice as any one of those cars. Maybe slightly better because uh, those cars are being built to sell. This car is being built to keep. So how long has it been uh, here with Mike? It's about three months now, uh, two I months. I think it's probably closer to six. Six months. Five yeah. or six months. Yeah. Mike, how long have you had the car now? Uh, it's probably been in between five and six months. Okay. And, uh, it's been on the frame, back off in the frame, back on the rotisserie a couple different times, and uh, just kind of tweaking all the uh, all the new and all the old sheet metal back along with the car and getting everything dialed in. And, Got prime with some uh, PPG K36 primer and all blocked out pretty nice. Got it ready for paint and put some Deltron. I saw it's clear on and got stripes laid out. And they're all painted classic white along with the fathom blue on the body. The car's pretty super straight. And in about two days, going to start wet sanding and buffing and get the ultra slick paint on it. Well, great. It's great to have Jim and Mike with us today, explaining the process of uh, the restoration. And uh, these guys have done a great job. And the meticulous care that they've put into it is why we've picked them. And uh, here in a couple months, you're going to see uh, an ultra, ultra rare car. And hopefully uh, you'll get to see it in person at one of the shows.